Hey everyone, it's Tom. We've been heads down on a ton of new features for Clover, which we'll be releasing pretty soon. But due to recent excitement in the industry, we've decided to release one of these features a little earlier than we had anticipated. So I'm excited to announce today uh, a new feature inside of Clover, which we call AI commands. Let's take a look at how they work. So AI commands allow you to generate new ideas, draft content, and automate some mundane tasks for you simply by asking the AI to do it. Uh, so here's how they work. Here I've written something that I'd like to send off to the AI. I'd like it to write five taglines for a company that makes horse boats. All I have to do is select that text, and now in the edit bar I get this little light bulb icon. Um, and I can come down and just run the selection as a command, and that will shoot it off to the AI, which should bring me back five different taglines. Okay, so there we go, we got some great results. Bring the horse along for the ride with our horse boats. Let's say that's not exactly right, and I wanna generate some variations of that. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm just gonna paste that one. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, and I'm just gonna select that text, and now I'm gonna ask it to uh, generate some variations of that tagline. And there we go. It generated a few different variations, changing a few of the words, but staying kind of true to what we originally had. So um, that's pretty cool and helping generate some ideas for me. Let's see what else it can do. Okay, so here we have an article uh, written by Paul Graham. It's just the beginning of the article. Um, let's just pretend that we were writing this article ourselves and we got stuck. Uh, we need some help in what might come next in our article. All we have to do is select what we have so far and come down and generate a continuation. And what that's gonna do is uh, figure out what might come next as part of the story here. There you go, that's pretty good. We could even run this multiple times if we wanted to just keep on going. What comes after this? There we go, we just generated three paragraphs that we didn't have to write. We could go back and use these as jumping off points, clean up what's there, etc. It's a pretty good way to get unstuck and generate some fresh ideas. Let's see what else. Here we have a really long article, many paragraphs. Uh, this is another Paul Graham article. Let's say we don't want to read all of this. All we have to do is select all of that, and now let's ask it to generate a summary. And there you go, just a few seconds and we have the TLDR generated for us. We don't have to read that entire article. That's pretty cool. So you can see that these built-in commands can really save you a lot of time but you can go further and generate your own commands as well. So let's say that we wanna do uh, something a little more custom. We wanna generate a summary still, but we want it in the form of a haiku. Let's delete that old summary. Let's just come down here and we'll say, uh, write a summary of the text in the form of a haiku. I'm gonna select that. And now I'm gonna create a new command from the selection. And I'm gonna call this a haiku summary. Here we go, now we're just gonna select that text and run our custom command here, haiku summary. Let's see what we get. There we go, pretty good little haiku. I think Paul Graham would even approve of that. Okay, let's try a couple more custom commands. So up here we've got uh, a strange word. Let's say that um, I'm often looking for definitions of terms and going out to the web, open up a new tab, searching for the definition, copy pasting, bring it back so that I have it in my notes. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore because you can just write a command to do that. So let's just say, let's create a little command. Let's say this is a definition. Come up here, highlight this strange word and say, definition. And there we go, the fear of running out of things to read. That's right. Uh, let's try another one. Let's say translate the given text to, I don't know, let's do German. Come down here and we'll just say translate to German. Come, we'll select our text and now we'll ask to translate that to German. 
and there we go. Does that translation for me. So I can very quickly build out these little commands that can save me a ton of time throughout my day. These new commands are just really good at helping you generate new ideas, draft content, and automating some mundane tasks. And we think there's just a ton of different opportunities for them. So we'd love to hear how you're using AI commands. Again, these are available in Clover as of today. Let us know what you think.